just noticed in the viewfinder that my shirt matches my hair. Like, look at that. That is exactly the same colour. That's kind of amazing. Okay, hello. Today, like I promised, I am filming a Q&A. Hell yeah. I feel like every YouTuber has like a little thing for their q and I need like a, I need like a fun jingle or something. Busy answers questions to avoid doing revision. Yeah. Yes, in my video, I think it was last Sunday, I said if I run out of ideas for another video, I'll do a Q&A, and then I actually got loads of questions, so I am going to answer those today. Okay, the first question from Miss Fitia Music. Oh, they first they've got a suggestion for the tattoo that I was saying I wanted, like the dragon in the shape of a treble clef saying that I should get it on my left shoulder. Right, okay, so that's, that's, yeah, that would make, that's a good place for a tattoo, right? But the thing is, I want to be able to see it. Like, if I'm going to have such a cool tattoo, I want to be able to look at it on a daily basis and be like, damn. That is cool. And then they've asked, where did you get the orange slut poster because I want it? Isn't it amazing? Right, I'll move the camera, that might be a mistake. Ooh, 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 ooh. It actually says, do I look like a slut? And then asterisk, there's no such thing as a slut. Yes, very good. Ooh, zoom. Can you see this little thing here? That's Hannah. That was a dangerous move for me to like change the focus. Yeah, it is Hannah Witten's merch, so I got it from Sitsi. Okay, the next question from now Shin Rocks 2000. How do you choose what you wanted to study in uni? Oh, oh, Sonny boy. You've actually opened quite the can of worms there. You see, I spent two years auditioning um, to do musical theatre at drama school, but I didn't get in anywhere. So I sort of just went, oh my God, I don't want to fail at life. Uh, I'll do English or something, because I'm kind of okay at English sometimes. Even though I found English like some of the, one of the hardest subjects throughout my school career, I somehow have ended up doing English at one of the best universities in, in the country. I don't know. Because naturally, when I was like, oh, I need to have a plan B because I haven't got into drama school, my plan was see if I get in, can get into Cambridge for English because logic. I did get an interview, but I didn't get into Cambridge and I'm really glad I didn't because London is awesome. So yeah, short answer, how did you choose something that I didn't hate? Axis Power Hetalia has, has would wow, has given me 14 questions. So I'll whiz through these. Number one, song that always makes you happy. In like a yeah, happy way. Pretty much anything by a great big world. Stars of singing you enjoy. I mean, I just like singing. I would say like kind of jazzy things because it doesn't come naturally to me, so it's like a bit of a challenge and I find it fun seeing if I can do it. How many pillows do you have in your bed? Just the one and it's shit. It's just pfft. Four, least favorite social media? Facebook, let's be real. Like it used to actually have things that interested me and now it's just cats and cats are fine, but Facebook cats aren't as good as Tumblr cats, so it's just like, can't be bothered. How many instruments can you play? Uh, guitar, ukulele, piano, Violin in theory, I, I learnt it, but I've, last time I tried to pick it up, I kind of broke the violin. Yeah. And recorder, I suppose. So it's actually such a like life problem with me. I just want to learn more instruments. Pets, current, and if you want more. Um, I t currently have three dogs, sort of. My mom has a Jack Russell, which who I made a video with. I'll link it. And my dad has two Staffies called Red and Crackers, and they're very very cute, and I miss them a lot. Pizza or hamburger? Pizza all the way. Studio Ghibli, not yet. Okay, it's something that I need to get into, but I haven't got into it yet, I'm sorry. The 70s, 80s, and the 90s. I think 70s? 70s has good music. Oh, so does the 80s. I think I'm gonna go 70s. Then you finish off by saying, sorry if the English sucks, I'm not a native speaker. No, if you are not a native English speaker, never apologise for the quality of your language, because do you know how many English people can speak another language? Hardly any. The English are appalling at teaching languages. You have made the effort and learnt a language. Don't apologise for the quality of it. I'm proud of you, and I think it's amazing. Sorry, I got, I got quite emotional there. Right. Next question is this Charlotte M. Gray. Hey friend, you ask, favourite book at the moment? I told you I don't have favourites. Okay, I'm currently reading Bonk by Mary Roach. Uh, that's for the Banging Book Club and that's really good. It's got detailed description of like penis operations, which is a bit... But it's very, very interesting. Charlotte's Wonderland says a place you'd like to visit in the world and why. That's, there's so many places. I used to say Greece, but I went to Greece last summer. I'm gonna go to New Zealand, partly because it looks pretty and partly because Hobbiton. Sanjana asks, who are some lesser known creators on YouTube that you love watching? Holy crap, there are so many. I will just link them below because that could be an entire video of itself. Fanasaur asks, what's your advice for revising for GCSE? Well, you can go watch my revision process video, which I hope is of some help. Specifically to GCSE, remember that it gets better. I know that sounds ridiculous, but like GCSE suck, right? Because you're still studying subjects that you don't like. Don't let it make you hate education. And also just try to make it fun. So just like see what you can do about like revising 
socialising with friends or like making up songs. Heather Inkpen, i.e. My, my mother, but she would hate me if I didn't answer the questions. I'm gonna answer the questions, okay? Leave me alone. My mum asks, if you couldn't live in England, where would you like to live? I was gonna say somewhere like Germany, but actually they've got some LGBT rights issues, so that's not cool. I think I'd probably go for somewhere like Norway or Sweden. One of those are like the happiest countries in the world. Will my flatmates stop opening doors? No, stop with the doors. If you threw a dinner party for say six people and you could invite anyone, alive or dead, who would be on your guest list? Oh my God, okay, let's think about this. Right, Mary Wollstonecraft, she's cool. I mean, not all the time, but mostly she's cool. Shakespeare, the Virginia Woolf, James Joyce, I am such a nerd, Jesus Christ. Freddie Mercury, he's gonna be a bit of an odd one out there, but I just, who doesn't wanna meet Freddie Mercury? Let's be real. That would be a very intense conversation, like Mary Wollstonecraft from Virginia Woolf. What's the first song you remember singing? I have absolutely no idea. <gasps> Wait, oh my God, yes I do, yes I do, yes I do. Right, oh my God, I remember spending like hours in the garden making up a song about birds? Uh, what natural talent, which you do not currently have, would you like to have? Well, like I said, I want to learn more instruments, but I think languages. I've always tried to learn languages and I'm okay at them, but I'm not, I'm not great and I'd like to be better. Sefi Sef asks, would you consider yourself a feminist or would you identify with the egalitarianism movement? I do believe that my video from yesterday answers that question pretty sufficiently, but egalitarianism movement? Okay, right, cool. And that is all the questions. Yay, that was, that was fun. That was easy, actually. That was really nice. That was just sitting down, answering questions, talking to you guys, because that reminds me, I recently got over 500 subscribers. <laughs> That's really cool. So that was today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Can I just ask, I went for, like, olive green eyeliner to go with the shirt. Does it work? I feel like I look a little bit like a wood nymph, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. What do you say? What's your verdict, guys? What's your verdict? What's your verdict? Ooh.